The unit they're opening now is the unit that the sheriff is here for. It's supposed to be ATVs, dune buggy, motorcycle parts. Supposed to be stolen goods. It's Jeremy and today I have a special guest out on the road with me. It's... Me! The George. one and only George. Now, it's a Saturday and everybody has their tax returns. We're at a storage unit auction. That's not a good thing, being on a Saturday, tax returns. There's a ton of people here. Ton. And that means the units are going to sell for a lot more. So, George, what do you think the highest unit is going to sell for today? What's your guess? I'm going to go close to $1,000. I'm going to say $3,000. Three? Now, you... Guess as well. Down in the comments, put your guess. What do you think the highest unit is going to sell for today? Ton of people, 31 units, and they all have tax returns on a Saturday. Everyone's out. Not good. Pay for your unit, then you can put your lock on it. Once we open a unit, you can just start walking around this way in front of the unit, look at it, then we'll sell the unit. We get to some of the other areas where there's a lot of units right there together. We'll open them all, and then we'll start back selling at the first unit. No deposits, but if you do not clean out your unit, you will not be allowed to buy any more. So we aren't taking a deposit, but you have to clean your unit out, sweep it out so it's ready to rent. And today you have till Tuesday night at 8 o'clock to get your stuff out. The gates are open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., seven days a week, right? So you have from till 8 o'clock tonight, and then tomorrow morning from 8 to 8 until Tuesday night at 8. This unit is a trash unit for sure, but I have no doubt this is unit number one. It went from 31 to 21, but somebody's gonna spend some big money on this with a crowd this size. So I'm guessing 300 bucks somebody's gonna spend. We'll find out. 100 and 100 down, I'm about 50, 20, 10, 10, 10, a mountain down, I'm in mount, somebody, 10 bucks, 10, 12 and a half, 12, 50, 15, I'm all 15, 20, a 20, 25, 25, I'm a 25, 30, a 30, 35, I'm a 35, 5, 5, 5, 35, I'm a 35, 5, 5, I'm a 35, 5, 5, 35, 35. 40, and 40, I'm about 40 dollars, and 40, 40, I'm about 50, 50, 40, and I all 50 down, I'm about 50, 40 dollars, right here. I was way off on that guess. I think this is the most people I've ever seen at a storage unit auction. It's an interesting unit with antique furniture in the back and then trash toys on the bottom. Pretty interesting. I'm about 25. 25 from a 25, 25. 35, 30, and 30, 35 from a 35, 35. 40, 5, yep. 45, 50 dollars in bottom of 50, 45 from a 50 dollars, and 45 from a 50 dollars in bottom of 50, 45, 50, 60, 70, and 70 now, 80, and 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80 now, and 90, 80 on this unit. 90, 90 dollars in bottom of 80, I'm 90. interested in the antiques. 80 dollars right here. We bought it, 80. What do you think about this one? We this just, one's gonna be. We got it for 80 bucks. A good score. There's all kinds of antique stuff in here. 80 bucks. That cabinet right back there is going to pay for it. You profile this unit for me. Why in the world is the dresser not flat against the wall? It's hiding a cubicle back in there. I don't know why. When you're going through the line and people take longer to look, you know there's more items in there and you've got to take a little bit more of a time to actually look and see if there's something valuable. So you know it's not a junk unit because people are taking so much time. Let's see what we actually have. Oh, look. Tons of dust. There's George. And there's tons of dust, which is a good sign. You see the dust everywhere? That's something we like. And there's the money. Literally, the money. Hundred dollars! Hundred and about about fifty. And fifty down about about thirty-five. Twenty! Twenty and five about thirty dollars. And thirty dollars and about about thirty-five. Forty, forty about about forty. Fifty, sixty, about seventy, about eighty. And eighty now, ninety and a hundred and about about hundred and a quarter. 
150, and 150, 150 down, about 125, and 50, 150 down, about 150, damn, all 150, now 75, and 200, a T to about 200, a T to T, T to about 200, out of the bottom of 200, 175, right here. Got a good buy at 175, all the dirt and dust, undisturbed. Looks like it's been there a long time. And ton of totes. This is the next unit up for auction, which a lot of people would go, oh man, somebody somebody actually went through it. And the answer is probably yes. A number of different people could have went through it. The owner, the previous owner, could have went through it of the leased unit looking for something specific or it could have went up for auction and somebody bought it and they were looking for valuables and they just tossed it everywhere. Looking at another unit here, this particle board wood furniture is never a good sign for bidding. I don't like that, but right next to it, solid wood, even though it's pine. And right next to that, you have boxes with damage with mildew, so that's not a good sign either. But then you have a longer burger box. And then you got a spawn action figure. And this unit is huge. So what would you do? Good signs and bad signs. See all that dust? Would you buy this one? Yes or no in the comments. Would you buy it? This is the one longer burger basket. You get the bonus dead mouse. Ultimate Lockridge, if you're here to pay, pay bonus. now. All right, unit 327, 500 and 5 and 5 and 200, $100 and 100 and 100, 25 and 100 and a quarter and a half, a 75 and a 175, 175, 175, a 175 and a 175, 200 and 2, 2 and a quarter, think 25, now 50, 75 and 75, a 275 and a 75, 5, 5, all 275. George is interested in in this one because it's so big. There's good signs. There's bad signs. 375. I don't have time to haul it this week though, so we didn't go for it at 350. Even though, remember, we could have actually we could have rented the unit for a month if we really wanted to. 10 and 10, 12 and a half, 15, a mole, 17, 50, 20, a 5, a 25, 30, 35, 35, and a 35, 5, 5, 40, and 45, and a 45, 50, 60, 70, and 80, mo, 80, dollar, now 80, dollar, about 70 and 80, 70 and 80, now 90, and 90, about 90, and 100, and 125, 125, 100 and a quarter, 110, 120, and 120, on. name, but about 120. Now 30 and 130, 40, a 140, 50, and 150, 150 down, 60, 60, 160 down, but about 160, 160, 150 dollars right here. I'm Shad Remally, auctioneer, Jeromesville at 6 North High Street in Jeromesville, at auction today at 3 o'clock. <laughs> Wait. What? Yeah. You did what? I drove all the way from Toledo. All the way from Toledo. Are you serious? Yeah. Well, the units, the units up there are going crazy right now because it's tax time. It's tax time. So I was like, I'm gonna drive away, get out yeah. of the country, maybe sneak away and get one. But it don't look like I'm gonna get one today. Did you see us get one for 80 bucks? Uh, uh We got one for 80 bucks. I can't believe it with this crowd. It's huge. This is the biggest crowd I've ever seen. Good unit. Yeah. Nice. Wow. Wait, who are, who are you guys on YouTube? Um, we're uh. I think, what's the channel? Like Kevin, we don't really have a channel, we just follow you. You right? just follow? I used to have a channel where I used to do a lot of motorcycle stuff, but... Yeah, cool. Glad to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> the sheriff is actually here, just pulled up. And no, it's not because I'm filming at the storage unit facility, because that's legal. You can do that anywhere. It's because we heard one of the units, the previous owner is incarcerated, and there's stolen four-wheelers inside, so this ought to be interesting. I'll get it. I think this unit is owned by a YouTube troll. It's a big one. And then here's one right next to it. 
another huge one. That's a big one. This is a rough looking unit, but how cool <laughs> is that? Someone Fire Chief. That. Yeah. That would be so fun to restore. That is beautiful. Isn't that thing cool? That thing is so cool. This one might be the high dollar unit of the day. Somebody was doing reupholstery. We got a bunch of tools. We got an old ATV in the back and tool cabinets. I missed it. How much did the one with the four wheeler sell I'm for? I'm winning so far. This one sold for a thousand. A thousand? One thousand. Wow. Thirty-five dollars. You got one for thirty-five dollars. All right. It it pays to leave Toledo, doesn't it? She's not happy though. She knows she has to. She's gonna have to help do some moving. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Did you, did you find out any information about that? Yeah, there's stolen goods. There's ATVs and things in the in the unit. So we're not there yet. But the sheriff. I was over at the sheriff while these guys were actually buying this unit, and they're stolen goods. The guy's incarcerated. How did you get started with storage auctions? Well, actually, my uh, I had a unit go for sale. I, mean, I had a personal unit, and it went up for auction. And, How old were you? Uh, I was 18. Okay, you were young. Yep, and I uh, the only thing of really value had uh, had some big rims in there. Okay. And uh, I had the fourth one. I had the fourth one in my car, and so I just rolled it out in front of the unit. And was like whoever's <laughs> bidding on the unit is either buying this rim for retail or are there. Uh, they're gonna let me get my unit. They ended up letting me get my unit for 50 bucks, and the lady ended up buying the couch and love seat for a hundred dollars. So I made wow. a profit, and, and then I was like, "Well, started a side hustle." Started the side hustle. That's where it all began. I love it. <laughs> that that is a rough unit there. There's one we did Mansfield though that had. Um... <laughs> and that had what? Had what? No, it looked like this, but yeah. worse. Yeah. And it, there was probably 20 guns found in it. Oh, wow. AR type guns. In Mansfield? Mm -hmm. I got to go to more in Mansfield. <laughs> do you like this one, George? I do. So we got a fifth wheel, huge snowblower, sandblaster. That, that was probably bought at auction. But we're probably not going to buy it because we're going to go for the one. We're gonna we'll go for the one that the sheriffs are here for. Five hundred and five hundred and five hundred and two hundred two 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 to my hundred. Where'd I get that at? Hundred quarter and quarter mile half and hundred and fifty and one fifty seventy five hundred two 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 to my two hundred out of in bottom of two hundred. Two 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 and a quarter, a two twenty five fifty, a two fifty seventy five out of a two seventy five out of a three hundred, three 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 to all three hundred, a quarter, a three twenty five out of a three hundred twenty five 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 fifty, a three hundred fifty and three hundred fifty dollar in bottom of three now fifty, three fifty seventy five, a three seventy five, a three seventy five now four hundred dollar and four hundred out of in bottom of four hundred. Four hundred three seventy five out of four hundred 375 right here. The unit they're opening now is the unit that the sheriff is here for. It's supposed to be ATVs, dune buggy, motorcycle parts. Supposed to be stolen goods. Let's see if we can get a peek. I might have to put George on my shoulders. some dirt bike pieces. I don't see a meth lab. I see pieces and parts. Nothing complete. Lots of pieces and parts, but nothing complete. We're getting to a place where we can see there's a mini. You just really can't tell everything's in parts and pieces, unfortunately. Five 
500, and yep. 5 of them are 5 of them are 750, and 5 of them are 5 of them are 750, 600, and 6 of them are all 600 dollars, and 600 of them are all 700, 800, and 800, 900, 1000 of them are 1000 dollars, and 1000 of them are 900, 950, and 950 dollars, and 950, and 950 dollars, and 950 dollars, and 950, sell it, come on, 950, 1000 dollars, 1100, and 1100, 1200, 13, 13, 1300 out of in bottom of 13 1300 sold at 1200 right here we got the unit that the sheriffs were here for we're probably gonna lose it all <laughs> <laughs> this one sold for 1200 we bought it for 1200 the so. sheriff were here for it as well right mm -hmm. so what do we there know was two sheriff here because what do we know uh, from what we were told was that the previous owner um, is incarcerated for for theft and, and we... <laughs> this is probably where he kept all of his stolen goods so the sheriff has already done what what they've done is they've run the numbers on um, the dune buggy and the, the four-wheelers sheriff came in and ran all the VIN numbers. Now, we have every right to film the sheriff. You have every right to, to film anywhere. Uh, what they requested is they didn't want to be they on didn't. YouTube. And we just decided to go ahead and honor that request. So they ran the VIN numbers. The VIN numbers all came back clear. And so anything else in here. So one of the questions we asked them and one of the sheriffs said, he said, well, I asked the sheriff, I said, can I record you? Because we get so many questions. What do you do when you get stolen items? And the sheriff said to me the same thing I always say to our viewers. How do you even know it's stolen? How can you prove it's stolen? You have no clue if you don't have identification numbers on it. And I said, can I record you? And he said, I really, I, I, I really rather not. So he said, but go ahead and share that information on your channel. So there you have it. From out of the mouth of the sheriff, same thing I've been telling you. How do you ever even prove that you have anything stolen? Baby, you know we gotta go get on the road. I know, but that's a pack, man. I wonder what the year is. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to go through this. 1980. Oh, nice. But we're gonna spend really the next couple weeks. These Crown Royal bags sell Everybody like crazy. Everybody loves these bags. <laughs> and a respirator. Hmm. We used it for. I think a we both lab. know what it was probably being used for. <laughs> What'd you find? Look, it's a trunk. Oh, yes. What do you think's in there? Guns? Drugs? Stolen goods? We could only hope. There's a trunk right there we gotta, we gotta get into. This looks like a little seat that opens. Oh, <laughs> we haven't eaten yet. Look, come on. <laughs> you, you ready for lunch? Some Come hash. on, it's almost noon. You Corned ready for lunch? Hash. Another trunk. Another one? I was trying to get this one open, but it's rusted. It's a little yeah. rusted, so... Well, maybe if you found a sword, you could just... <laughs> right open. Maybe. What I found else? another trunk. Oh, another man. trunk. Look at that one. This one's pretty. It's got Look. designs in it. Look at the detail. What kind of detail do you think we're going to find inside of it? Oh, gosh. Money. I hope it's money. You think the sheriff's going to take it from us? I hope not. Okay, we'll find out. I guess the highest unit would go for roughly around a thousand dollars. You guess three thousand. So. Well, what, what, what was the highest unit that sold today? Because we didn't record them all. The one that we bought for twelve hundred. <laughs> okay, so officially she won, and there were a ton of people here. There was. So the we, biggest crowd I've ever seen. And me, and I've been doing this for years. Two units we bought, one for eighty dollars, filled with antique furniture and all mm -hmm. kinds of stuff, and the one for twelve hundred dollars, the criminal incarcerated unit. We put locks on both of the units. I'm going to be at work, so Jeremy's going to come back here on Monday. Which means I'll be at work here <laughs> on Monday. <laughs> Hauling, all of that stuff. Okay. Buy your lonesome. We're going to probably spend two plus weeks on this. So we're actually going to rent the $1,200 unit for a month to work on it. Stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell so you get the notifications. Because you're not going to want to miss what, what the hails. What find next? Who knows what's going to come out of the criminal unit? Who knows? Adventure awaits. You gotta go find it. Just not in jail. 
Well, he's in jail. He might, he might be missing this. Or eighty four ninety nine. Not a Good bad deal. Lord. Good love does a lot of money. Loved. It says love is back. <laughs>